week on Quick Rants, we have Veet and their new and stupid and probably deleted commercial that I will not link you to because I don't want it getting any more views. Oh, Veet. You managed to offend everybody in a span of like three minutes in one little commercial. How? Well, you offended women because you basically told us that if we don't shave, we are now men, um, we are gross, it's unattractive, the guy we are with will be completely disgusted, and how dare we? You better shave so you can get your femaleness back. Newsflash, Veet, and everybody else who has this uh, thought, um, women and men, grown women and men, have hair. All mammals, and especially adult mammals, have hair. So us having hair is nothing weird or awkward. Um, it's normal. And if someone is choosing not to get rid of their hair, maybe because it's too fucking cold to go outside without hair on their legs, um, maybe it's not convenient right now, maybe they have exams, and maybe they just don't want to do it. So Veet, shove it, okay? You also managed to offend the guys because, one, you made it look like a fat, hairy guy is unattractive, gross, and how dare he try and be part of a relationship, um, get out of bed. Two, um, you made it seem like any guy who's okay with his girlfriend being hairy is now this weird dude, what the fuck, like what's wrong with you, why is your girlfriend hairless? And you also offended um, transgender people who maybe don't, don't conform to either one of those two gender binary. You were also super heteronormative because you um, implied that two guys in bed, there's something weird about that and awkward and why would this guy be in bed with this dude? So this is what I want to say. If you want to shave or wax or do any other type of hair removal, do it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. If you want to do it sometimes, do it sometimes. The bottom line is whatever you're doing, do it for you, okay? The minute it starts becoming a pain in the butt, something that you have to do, something that you feel awkward if you don't do, um, something that, you know, inhibits you from having proper relationships and, you know, makes you feel awkward about yourself or whatever, stop doing that, okay? Because if you're not doing it for yourself and you're doing it for other people, these beauty industries and other industries in general will control your body until your death, okay? It's important to do what you want to do for yourself. And don't let Veet or any other guy or girl tell you what you should be doing with your body um, unless you also want to be doing with that doing that with your body. And if you do want to do something, make sure you can, you examine where these wants are coming from. If you want to do this because, um, you know, it, you're a swimmer and having hair just inhibits your time and you want to get faster, great. But if you're the only reason you're shaving or putting mascara on or doing anything is because you've internalized that you're ugly without it or that you can't function without it, then that's also a problem. So do what you want to do, but also know why you want to be doing that thing and make sure Make sure that it's body positive and goes along with um, what you believe about yourself and about the world. And with that rant out of the way, enjoy your day.